Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This isn't my idea, this idea I got from Pinterest. I've just changed it up a bit. The person on Pinterest um, embossed this background here and didn't do the white lines. She had a um, stitch. She had that stitched. So, um, that's what I've done but the rest I think is near enough the same now I didn't save it so I couldn't tell you who I copied it from sorry whoever you are um, but I've changed it up a little bit to make it mine alright for this card I've used freezer bird I haven't used it for a little while so I thought I'd use it and I've just used the bird image and well said for birthday wherever that is there down there so that's the only two stamp sets I've used card I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth and folded in half and it's been burnished I have a piece of card at this is six by four and one eighth. It'll just need trimming a bit because I want the whole front covered. Um, yeah, like that. It's just a little bit too long, which I'll cover. Now I've got scraps of card. These are what I cut off from this end, this one. So I thought I'd use these on this card here like that I should just trim them off I've got a piece of scrap white for the birthday I've got a happy from one of my non stamping up dies and that's what I've used there and I've already stamped and cut out the birds they just need colouring so all we're going to stamp today is the brick wall and the birthday and we'll colour the birds in. So let's get rid of all of them. We don't need them for now. Oh, I need this big piece of glass. So I'm also using my brick stamp. Stamping Up have brought out a stacking brick stamp. But as I've got this, I'm not going to get it. So all I do with this, because it's such a big stamp, I lay it flat and with my smoky slate I ink it up nicely and that'll do. And I just lay that down get a scrap of white paper and rub it oh, that's quite lovely like that and I need to close the ink we don't need that anymore. Don't know why I got a baby wipe out. This is actually how I got it from the craft fair in Peterborough last year. It came just like that. So it gets stored just like that. Right. Now then, we need to stick these on here. 
and I want to stick them no, um, that way. So stick that. Like that, and the birds will go there. So, what I'm going to do, hold them like that, and I'm going to cut this uh, I think it's crushed grey. Absolutely sure, but that's what I think it is. That's better, like that. So I want to cut it some more. Should have really just glued it down, and then cut it. how I'm going to have that. But first we've got to do some white dashes. So with my ruler along there, got my white pen and we just go along and do some white lines I'm just doing this with a gel pen, sorry. I didn't tell you what it was. Now, as you can see, it hasn't all taken. That and now we're going to do the white, the white, the yellow. I'm not measuring them out or nothing like that, I'm just marking it. I could have done this before and but then you wouldn't have known what to do. Well there again you might have known what to do. So there's my marks. All we've got to do is stick that on there, but I want to stick this on here first and then mark the uh, Cut it to fit because I know it's just that little bit too long. Right. 
and then we'll just cut that along the edge of the card base. There we are. And then we can glue these on. to the edge and the same with this one And then we just trim off anything that's hanging over. And there we have it. Ah, oh, a little bit there. What's that? No, it's not. see a little bit and it's annoying me stop down now right now we just have to color in our little birds so I've got my um, blends here Corner sticking up and it's annoying me. So, with my light olive, olive we're going to colour the leaves. Nothing fancy, just colour them in. I did stamp this and colour it in, uh, stamp it and cut it out beforehand because it is a little fiddly to cut out as there's no dies I wish there was a die leaves now this pink for the flowers And soft suede dark for the branch. Do the stems on this. <coughs> right, I need crumb cake light. This is for the birds. So all I'm doing is just going around the edge of the birds. 
and the wings and the tops of the heads and anything that's got shading in it not forgetting his tail I'm not going around straight I'm just sort of marking it Right, we have got pool party for this bird. It's quite dark this, I must have picked up the dark. I did, but it doesn't matter. Um, daffodil to light dark. Um, soft seaside spray, light, and my made up blushing bride. Notice I haven't coloured them in. Perfect because we're going to take. Crumb cake again. Ooh, wrong one. That's alright, I'll just blend that in. And we're just going to go around the edges and blend it in a bit. Just to take the... So the colours don't stand out so much. And then we want an orange uh, that I've picked. What have I picked? Pumpkin pie. Just to do the beets. And that is it. That's all our colouring done. Got to make a big box for these pens. I'm stamping up, I've got some new colours out. And my box is full. So, what I'm going to do, I am just going to make another row of holders and a bigger box. Right, got some dimensionals on the back right. right I need some little ones the ends off. And I've got a fan going on in the background so these are going to most probably fly all over the place.
Right, and we're going to place that so it hits the edge of the card. Just like that, yeah. Now with our word happy, I'm just going to glue under there. Like that. So with my glue, I'm going to just glue that on. And glue that. Just don't like that. And then the scrap of white. Craze on craze and birthday. It's got something in the stump, that's it. And stump that down like that. That's it. All right. I have got something on my ink pad. I had something on my ink pad. Right, my big scissors, I am going to chop that up. Sorry about that. Daughter number three phoning. Supposed to be asleep. She was on nights last night. Somebody woke her up. Right, I've cut my birthday out. So I'm just going to put it on some dimensionals. She was using some mini dimensionals. Three on. Take it back so. And I'll place that there. Let's see if it's straight. It is. I right, um just need a card for the inside. I didn't do anything inside, did I? No. balance it out a bit. I know you lot of think, why do you do that? It's to help balance it out when it stands up like that. Right, now we've just got some gems to put on. So I'm going to put one there, one down there, and one under the A. And I've got these little gold gems. And just put one on each double glue. I know they're self adhesive gems, but they do fall off. And that is my card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you um, like to see more please subscribe and if you uh, press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and a Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon